got all the foliage scraped off and everything back there by that back retaining wall. There was a big pile of gravel, so we were able to steal a bunch of gravel from there and just kind of spread it out over everything. Um, like I said, after we got rid of all the foliage and stuff and it's all dumped up there. So back plated that, kind of got just roughly smooth-ish, you know, mainly wanted just to get an area lined out for where this RV cover is gonna sit. So it's gonna be, what is it, it's 12 by 30. So this area is like 34 by 14 or so. So, you know, just wanna make sure it's plenty big. Now, we're gonna figure out what the approximate grade is that we should shoot for. You know, basically we'll measure, what, probably three spots wide and then probably four spots along the length of it, right? So you'll do four here, four down the middle and four along that side. Take the average height of that and then I'll probably go down about a half an inch or so and that will be the grade that we're gonna shoot for and that'll be the grade that we'll set up on the grade stick and what we will set up on the excavator computer. So that's what I'll be doing now. That's kind of how you roughly figure out, but at least that's how one way that I figure out what the grade should be when you have an area like this and you just need to level it out, right? Um, it's a lot easier when you can just haul in a bunch of material or just dig down to an arbitrary depth or build up to an arbitrary height. But when you have kind of a given area like this, it's you know kind of a challenge on how do you figure out what height you shoot for. So that's just how I shoot for it. corner was zero. That is 12.3 so there you can see all 12 heights basically if it was low and it needs to come up i called it a negative height you know and if it's high then it's a positive height and if it's grade it's zero so as you can see obviously at the beginning where i zeroed it out that's grade right then there was actually one other spot in there that happened to be grade as well so now we'll take the average of these numbers and then we will go from there. So overall, it is, what is that? Three eighths of an inch, right? Yeah, three eighths of an inch is the overall average height. It is low compared to grade. Right, grade was this front corner right back here that I measured. So I'm gonna basically drop the height down. I'll probably just aim for about a half an inch low. Um, you know, overall, I'll zero out. I'll call this front corner right over here. I'll call this front corner, you know, basically I'll take it down a half an inch and I'll call that grade, you know, and then from there we'll make the rest of it basically match so they wanted us to shoot for within plus or minus two inches which we're already well within that but we can do better so that's what we're gonna do and obviously don't mind the high spots <laughs> the obvious ruts so right here where I just paint that dot that's where I'm gonna zero out the machine and then we will start down there at that far end. We're gonna work our way all the way out here to the front. All right, so here in the cab, maybe that's better. Sorry about the audio. So 
If you look really closely, right underneath the center of my bucket is that white dot that we painted. That we're, that's what we're going to call gray, right? So like that's where we zero everything out at. So in the SciTech Trimble Earthworks system, you can see that just from when I just started it up, right, it's saying we're one and a half inches too high. So we're going to zero it out right here. it's at is based on the rotating laser up there on the tripod so the next thing we need to do is we have to sync the machine to that laser so if you, you probably can't see it but on the side of the boom right there there's a little red reflector looking thing that is what will pick up the signal from the laser so and that is what will tell the machine what elevation it is sitting at, right? So the machine will know what elevation it is sitting at, and then the machine also knows what elevation the bucket is at relative to itself. There it goes, so just got it. All right, now can, I always start at my far end and I work all the way out. Kind of like imagine if you were like cleaning a floor or painting a floor or something like that, right? Like you want to start at the far end and kind of like work your way out. All right, so I just forgot. So I just, all I did was I just tracked down to the end of the pad. So not very far, right? So because I moved the machine, now what I need to do is I need to catch the laser again so that the machine will know what elevation it's at. Then I'll be ready to start digging. Right, so there it goes. Just got it. Right, and it says uh, we're about three inches too high from grade, which, as I look at the height of my bucket, kind of makes about sense. It does. Right, so right there it says we're about two inches high from our grade we're shooting for, which I don't know if you probably can't see it, but it is about two inches or so underneath the bucket. And that's basically, this corner was actually really close to grade it was. I think it was like within a quarter inch or so, which is plenty good for dealing with dirt. So now we're gonna start, I'm gonna work this in two halves. Basically I'm gonna work this right half and then I'll go and do the left half. Just makes it a lot easier just pulling straight towards yourself as opposed to like having to pull at angles and stuff like that, trying to sweep it. Just makes it a little easier. So that's how I'm gonna do it. All right, now here we go. 